Hi everybody, it's Julie. We're gonna do things a little different today. I'm gonna show you my totally finished foundation journal. And then after I've shown it to you, you're gonna see how I added and finished the last pieces. For those of you that are following along and making your journal uh, just like mine or very similar, I wanted to make sure that you had that, um, but I wanted to be able to share for those that just want to see the flip through. We're going to do that. We're going to start that right now. Okay. So I have, I'd chosen a book and my book was eight, just a little older, over eight and a half by five and three eighths. So um, my pages, yes, my pages came off the edge. So I purposely knew that that was going to happen. I added lace and fabric to the edge of some of my pages to help with that. Um, I have my fabric on the um, spine that we built that is two and a quarter. So I, I did a two and a quarter inch spine on this it's two signatures five whole pamphlet stitch and i love the way this turned out so this is a foundation journal you can add to this with the theme that you wanted um my background digital is pretty themey <laughs> themey i used uh the colorful daisies background digital as well as the bright and colorful background digital and um I love the way it turned out. So we were to pick out a certain, I had given you a list of items to pick and have a kit. And that's what we were using throughout. Um, your cover could be anything, um, but it did need to have a the three items added to it at some point. So it could be a ring bound journal. It could be bound like this. You could have an altered book. Uh, it has 90 pages, front and back, large and small. Uh, that's not counting the doilies. So there you go. That is my foundation journal. Um, the only thing I didn't do, I didn't do a, a closure. So I'll figure out a closure and I'll have that. Um, I'll show you that in the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group. Um, but watch for this to show up um, uh, for sale. And it's going. I'm going to sell it as it is, as a foundation journal that someone would be able to take and make their own and add whatever they wanted to. Okay? So um, I think that the, the size, I mean, you can still very much close it. See that? You still have a good, and even when it's sitting, it's... Um, it's not popping up. No alligator. No alligator here. Okay. There you go. Um, so next I'm going to show you how I added in the ephemera. And I hope you will check that out. Again, don't forget we're here every day at 1030 Pacific Standard Time. We use the premier format, which means we have a live chat. If you're here right now, hit that live chat button and come on in and say hello. Um, we would love to get to know you. Um, and so also the Valentine digitals are on sale until the 15th. Okay. So let's take a look at how I made this. So let's take a look at how I put everything together and got this finished any of those types, okay? So I chose to use my file folder, a book page, and then the digital for my panel. And then I went around the book page with the gold pen. You're gonna see the gold pen is around um, all of the colorful daisy pages and ephemera. On the inside, I used my master board and made a pocket tuck. I had this um, leftover um, in my file. And so after everything was done, I came back and I added this set of postcards. It was not part of my kit. It was after, but it is part of the colorful background, colorful and bright or bright and colorful background. 
I added lace. Like I said, I added lace. Well, this lace I added to this double tuck here. And here's one of our mini challenge in the challenge 2.1 um, cards or tags. And it just works really well there. This is one of my 5 to 15 papers. And I just folded it up and added it here in this double stack pocket. Of course, I had ledger in the beginning. That's one of my favorite things to do. Here is my water embossed charger plate page. That was a requirement to have uh, two water embossed pages used or papers used in your journal. Uh, this is one of my cardstock. This is my small floral, and this was the napkin. And my napkins were part of my five to fifteen um, added pages. After I finished the snippet roll, I had a couple pages of the copy paper postcards um, that were extra ones that I had. They were not part of the ones that required that you copied, but I had some extras. So I added the napkin and some of the scraps to this, added lined paper to the back, and it fits perfectly right in here in this envelope, this pink envelope. Envelopes, you could use as many as you wanted. Lined paper, you could use as much as you wanted this time. Um, so the lined papers, I was counting them in my 5 to 15. And then when I took them out of my 5 to 15, I had a whole lot more papers left. This was one of the cutoffs from one of the, um, the pages. Added a little bit of lace here to finish that. Okay. Because I had done this when I made the page. And so that just helped to finish that off there added the rose up here on the children's you write down here and draw your picture up there this is a teacher planner okay and this is a postcard page so i showed you how to use dear julie julie digitals in this um in this series so this was a postcard page side by side you can use it as a small page this faintly you can see the doily in there so that is getting an image um here is our double edge center fold so this is actually the center of the signature and i took a, a postcard page and folded it we folded these down and so they these are really strong right here and made pockets and i used the pen around it and this was one of um, this is what I chose to do to uh, for my three. I had stitching, inking, book page. I had a lot. Cardstock, gold, pen. And I did that on two. I have that on, a, on another thing in the back. It's part of the master board or the snippet. Snippet. These are part of the snippet. Okay. So snippet and they became cards. Ledger. Um, this was a piece of the master board, and it was after I had made this tuck space for the front. Okay, so I had cut this, and this was the piece that was left, and I made a card, and on the inside, I added a little tuck. Okay, and this is a true flip-flop with a flap. The other side of the postcard, the teacher's uh, planning Another one of those cards inside the envelope and the other side of the charger plate ledger. And here's our double stack pocket. So we have this here and we have one of our large tags. So it was a large tag with a purpose. This one's purpose was to be note paper and be beautiful. Okay. So this was my plaid. Um, paper there's a doily this is the over the over the page card and it has i used book page under it so you can write on that side added lace here and you can also do that here this was <coughs> the day i was showing you how if you don't have the card stock you could make your own lines or plaid and so it was the doodle day and charger plate that we have flipped up and made a pocket one of our 
these are my five pages. So there's my plaid. This is my large floral, my small floral, my color, and my free one. I chose to use this one. And um, they were all 12 by 12 pages. This is the rest of after I made my template. Then um, for the binding, this was my graph paper. So this is part of my binding kit. And then I'm able to use it. That's that's a that's every time I have a, a challenge. Your graph paper is part of your binding kit, and it can after you make your template, you can use your graph paper in the journal. We don't want anything wasted. That's uh, that's a big thing that we're doing right now. So after this is part of the snippet, and I made just out of the the scraps that I had left over. I made a little scrappy thing here. And this was another one of the postcards on the cardstock. And here we have, this was our pocket. And I added a second pocket to this um, and some lace. And this was using up our scraps. After I'd made the snippet, this file card was left. And so I added pieces from my scrap pile and finished that. This is one of our large tags with a purpose. It has a pocket here. You've got a flippy note here, and you have a pocket here. So kind of a wallet style. You have the pin, and you have book page being used, as well as the background digital as the base. Here I just ripped this edge. That's uh, my large floral. This was my small floral. This is from the napkin. Um, the, the dotted papers are from the Colorful Background Kit. This is the Flip and Tuck page. So you can journal here and then put it back together and flip it and tuck it in there and it will stay. Um, I also added a, a page envelope to the back here and that gave me a place for my large file card. And we collaged the front of the file card, added the lace and a piece of the large floral. Um, we have a pocket here. All of my pockets, all of the background pages are copy paper. And so I have reinforced all of the pockets by folding them over. These are folded over. It feels and looks amazing. And um, so able to use copy paper and that is considerably made this using less um it was less bulky okay so this is our other tag with a purpose we have our dear julie julie large tags they come three one two three so the way that this one was it had the yellow the blue and then the pink was here we folded the pink over but first we cut a little hole out of it we glued all this up here and made just a pocket down here and so this could be like a gift card holder. You could make that and make it a birthday card or a graduation card or something. This is our napkin on the scrap from the ledger paper. And I, I stitched. Sewing was one of the, the three things that you could do. Um, I mean, there were several things you could do, but that was the one of the three things I did there. Another one of the mini challenge in the challenge and for some reason this one didn't get trimmed down so let's just trim it real quick because I might forget okay and this is our top tuck we have an envelope here that is another top another tuck place we have a tuck here and then we have the gold pin Added fabric to the edge of some of the children's writing paper here. We have another little note paper, used our plastic packaging, and we have another flippy note pad. And this was from the scraps that were left over. I want, like I said, I wanted to use all the scraps. And this is packaging um, from something. <laughs> Here's our flip up pocket. It is, again, a postcard page, so it has four little postcards. We flipped it up, did the, um, the tucking thing again, 
And over here, we added one of the large flowers from the cardstock, ripped, uh, cut around it, ripped, uh, glued it to the book page, ripped around it. And then we have one of the, uh, I think this is from the snippet roll. I'm not positive at this point. <laughs> Um, map paper, added napkin here, added the napkin rose there. Here's our belly band. It has a little pocket just for fun. And it has one of the mini challenge and the challenge tags, patchwork tags. Here's another flip flop. This one, you have to, to move it. It doesn't flop with the flap. Added the fabric here out of the fabric here and you can see this piece of fabric from the edge here's our large floral this is our um, hidden journaling card and this time instead of just putting uh, like an index card or something on the inside I actually took two book pages and put them together and made a little note card that can go inside our hidden journaling cards. So you tuck it in there and then you come over and you can tuck it in here. Um, push in the, the folded side first and then this comes together and can go in our pocket. So there's that. So we have another belly band and card. And here we have, this is the envelope from the uh, tuck. And we have, um, we made this envelope, envelope, envelope. We made this one. We have our accordion file here. And that will probably get a couple of, I'm going to, I haven't made the tags out of the, the doodle. So I will probably make those and put a couple of those in here. And then just, there will end up being five cards out of the doodle um stuff so these are doodle from doodle day that was our uh what our color our large floral small floral plaid and free okay so those are i was just showing you how you could make make your own if you didn't have your cardstock um added another one of the postcards here napkin this is our other flip-flop on this one this is the napkin and it's the the second ply um, so obviously it's not as bright and I took my um, sewing machine and I went around it to make it look like a rose and then we have some of mom's um, paid paper here and so that's very special. That was from my mom's, one of my mom's paper pads. And we have some more avocado dyed paper. And this is a, a little card that you can use. You have a flip up, flip up flinch card. And this is our flip tuck pocket, okay? So flip tuck is this part. I did it, it's an extended flip tuck, so it has this down here that we can put that in, and then it is a pocket. So um, you can also journal in here. And then it, the way that you put this in here, people might not even know that they can lift that up, so it can almost be hidden journaling. And here we have one of our file cards in the very back. And the these this page these this pocket was made from our master board. It has ninety pages, front and back, large and small. Uh, that's not counting the doilies. You can still very much close it. See that? You still have a good, and even when it's sitting, it's um it's not popping up. No alligator, no alligator here. Okay, there you go. Um. So next I'm going to show you how I added in the ephemera. So let's take a look at how I put everything together and got this finished. I've got all the little ephemeras that I made. I have my journal. 
It is bound and ready to add my foundation ephemera into it. I did go through and I added some lace and I added pieces of my fabric to the edges just randomly through. Um, and like this, uh, the file card that I made has lace. I'm putting it in the pocket that is over my flip tuck journaling space here okay and I've made it so that it comes out and it becomes part of the edge as well um, I did add a uh, some papers and I've got another one ready because I think there's another flip in there I do have a couple few pieces couple few I have a couple few pieces of napkins left that I can add in I have my master board that I can add. And remember, I did already cut up my um, snippet to use in here. So um, I probably will use my master board in here. I was thinking that it would be really fun to frame this and put a word across it and put it here in my um, craft room but I think I'm going to need it <laughs> to finish out this journal. So remember, this is my foundation journal. I have, this is my foundation cover. And so we're going to go ahead and start going through and seeing what we can add. Um, here I have the double, the pocket with the stacked double tuck. And I'm going to go ahead and just add that there for now okay and here i have this large pocket now after i was done with the snippet i went back i had a set of postcards i took two of the postcards copy paper backed them with the lined paper added napkin and a couple of other scraps that i had and i'm going to go ahead and put one of them right here in this envelope pocket. It's gonna fit perfectly. And I like that green with that. And so, so there's that. So now not, not adding any toppers or anything because it is a foundation journal. So this is the center of my first, um, <laughs> first signature and it needs to get closed. This is our center fold uh, double pocket. What did I call it? <laughs> it was new. Um, double edge pocket center fold. So it's two pockets on the edge. And this time it happens to be in the center. And so I'm going to go ahead and... Sure I am. I'm going to glue this down. Let's go. We can take out my favorite glue and use it. Okay. Okay. And I should have put my glue on the short one. Okay. So this is going to give me a double pocket. There we go. We'll bring it up. Hold it down. Okay, so I'm going to end up with two pockets here. So possibly like one, one here. Okay. And one here. Those were from my snippet roll. And I'm just going to sneak those right in there. Okay, those were from the snippet roll. And that's the other side. Okay, I have a flip here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some journaling space to this by just adding a flip-flop. Okay, so flip-flop, we use the paper folded in half. We've measured it already to see that it was going to fit there. And then I'm going to fold it in half again, giving us a little spot there. OK, 
Okay, then I'm going to fold it back to our original half size. And I'm going to add my glue right along here. I'm going to make this a true flip-flop, which means that this page is going to flip with the page. Okay, so when the page opens, okay, so when I grab this page and open it, it's going to flip over. It's not, it needs to dry on there, but you see, it's going to flip, flip over. That is a true flip-flop. Um, we're going to want a flap on here, um, but let's go and see what else, <laughs> what else we've got. Okay, so here's our other side. I think we'll go ahead and we'll just use the same thing on this side that we used on the other. Adding that lined paper um, was great. It, it actually made this thicker. And so as I'm doing that, I'm also breaking the paper because I don't remember if I, if I did that earlier. So we have some large tags. We have three large tags that we made. Plus we have the ones that we made in the mini challenge and the challenge. This is one of our tags with a purpose. So it's a large tag and it has some writing space. So the writing space was its purpose and that will fit right in there. Perfect. Okay, this is our over the page card. And um, that was one of our required elements. There's a pocket here. Um, okay, we have a small pocket here. That would be perfect for one of these. Okay, perfect. Okay, so here I have... Okay, I want to save this card to use with this packaging, I think. Because I think, is this one? Oh, this one fits. We'll put this one in. This one's going to go in packaging. Um, this one didn't get its lined paper. Okay, but we've got this little card. Okay, and this one I made so that it could, it could go like this. Okay, if you wanted it to, it could go like this. Um, if there's... If there's any like cardstock or other things that you have left over that are going to fit into these places um, for a double tuck, that would be great. I don't have any more small pieces, but I'm going <clears> to... <throat> okay, so if this had lined paper behind it, it could go in there. Or note paper, if you have note paper. Okay, here we are. We have another large pocket. And so this is another, this one has a pocket here and it has note paper here and it has a pocket here. So another large tag with a purpose right there. And I think we'll go ahead and we'll add this little, it's just a flip up. Okay. Lots of places for writing in here. So I have this card and I just added this to the edge. That could go there. What else do we have? We have our, we have our hidden, but that's kind of the same thing. How about this one? Ooh, yeah. Let's put that one in there. Okay. So we have our flip tuck. Okay, gives you journaling space. You can get hidden down in there. We have now have this um, tag. This was, oh, this one has our little spot. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to, gonna have to make something for the little spot. We can use. There we go. We'll do that. Okay. And I want the roses up so that you've got all that going on. And then this lace for the large file card is out here. And becomes part of the outside of the journal. I love that. Here's our top tuck. So let's go ahead and I think we'll put this one. Okay, that one can go in there because it's got stuff going on. Okay, this is one of the... The fabric edges that I did it's got a piece of the file card and the fabric 
And then here's the inside. So this could really use a little something here. Okay, so here is a place that I thought we could put our, our belly band. Remember, I already made a belly band. It's already in there. But um, this one, <laughs> this one, uh, it fills the requirements better. Okay. So it's a belly band with a pocket. Okay, and we're going to give it this one. Okay. And it also has a little goodie here. And then we can go ahead and give it a digital. Because remember, you can use any Dear Julie Julie digitals and as many as you want in here. Okay, and it's still foundational. Could, could consider that that needed to be, have other things added. So this is the other flip-flop. Okay, and we have this here. We have a large pocket here. I think we'll go ahead and put our hidden journaling card in here. And remember, I did it different. This time our hidden journaling card is actually a little notebook, okay? So when you come back, you go ahead and you put your card in this side, and then you put that in there, okay? So hidden journaling note paper. Okay, here's our other belly band that I had put in. And it is coming up. Let's go ahead and give it some some help here. Okay, what do we still have? We have our accordion note paper or note paper. Yeah, note paper. We have this that we can put. I think we'll do it this way. Okay. Flip. We have a little tiny pocket. We have this. We have this is another flip flop with the flap. That was our required page. And then we have these. I'm going to go ahead and put this on our last page. So this is our little flip tuck. Okay, am I, am I calling those by the right name? So this is a flip tuck, and the other one was a flip and tuck page. Flip tuck. And I did this, um, it's an extended flip tuck. So rather than cutting off the bottom of it, this down here, I turned it into a pocket. Okay, and something can come and go right in here. Okay, so I have a flinch card from the Dear Julie Julie flinch card kit. And I'll just put that right in like that. Okay, and then something can go back here. And... <laughs> Midnight here. Okay, there we go. So that gives us a tuck space. Okay, now I'm going to look through here. Oh, that didn't stay down. My fault. I should have stayed here and held it. Okay. Um, so I have, I 
have this packaging and I wanted to go ahead and add this somewhere. I think we'll put it here. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and, okay, we're gonna take this out. And then we're gonna cut this across. We're gonna use our double-sided tape. I have to figure out where it got put after this last move of things. <laughs> so I have this double-sided tape. Make sure that I'm on the, the back, that's the back. Okay. So this is uh, the video of filling the journal with the ephemera. So if you've been following along, you can just put your things in just like I have. Um, what I've done here is I'm choosing a place that you probably can't write on. So I think the yellow pages of this, this map, this area, you probably could write on this. You definitely can write on that. So... I'm going to use this where um, little, probably a little bit harder to use that. And I'm going to use it. It's going to have the little uh, flippy notebook that we made. And that just goes in there. Just like that. I love using the packaging, um, you know, because we're saving it from the landfill, first of all. But also, I think it's really pretty that you can see what you made through it. Okay, I'm going to put this. Oh, this needs lined paper. Or, you know what? It could go on. It could go on here. I think we'll do lined paper. I had a piece of lined paper. Okay. There we go. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go up, up the edge here, across, and we'll get this one too, okay? So foundation, and so adding your tag um, toppers and things like that are all things that you'll come back in and do after, after it's done, or I think you could give this as a gift as it is, and they can decorate it however they want to. Okay, they've got a foundation of all of the things, which I think is just really great. This is a large pocket. Is it large enough? Almost. I'm going to go ahead and take a smidge off of each size side. So that that will fit in there. Okay. There we go. And we have this one. And I know it was supposed to go back here, but I don't remember where. So let's, uh, let's go through. A lot of pages in here. Lots of places for writing. And for adding, adding stuff, I think this is a great journal. So something could go in there. Um, we still need something for in there. 
Okay, so after you've finished all of your required items, you can use um, the things that are in your kit to, to, to make your other tags and things if you think that you need some. And I think I'm going to need... I'm going to need some. I don't see where I was planning to put this. So I really like the, I think we'll put it there. Okay. Okay. So the next thing is I have these pieces of napkin and yeah, I could just uh, not worry about it, but I, um, I think I want to go ahead and use them. I love this as the front. Um, here's our embossed charger plate. Okay, I'm thinking on the white places. Okay, so like this is a white, very white place. And so I'm going to go ahead and put glue down and add my napkin. I didn't I didn't use all my 5 to 15, which is the plain paper. Any paper that you wanted to add, you had um, you could have 5 to 15 pieces added in. And let's see. I'm looking for something that I can use. There. We'll use that. Okay, I was thinking that it would be really pretty to have this up here. You know, I've been playing with this for, what, a couple weeks now? So I've been going like, oh, and I can do this, and I can do this. So here we are at the very end. to the edge, lay it down. Okay. Okay, so we've done that. Now you can see that there's some edge that didn't get glue. I'm gonna just go ahead and put glue on it just like that, because then while I'm doing that, the the extra glue is going down where the glue is going, you know, where it's where the, the napkin's going to be glued to. And I'm okay with some wrinkles. Okay, so that I think that is really, really pretty. And we'll go ahead and put that down. That will help with that. So we've done two on this side. Let's come back and do two on this side. Um, I think across the, yeah, across the bottom there. So... So tomorrow is our mini challenge in the challenge. Um, as of the snippet, we have done all of the required items, okay, for this challenge. I ended up with extra glue on this page. Hmm. How are we doing over here? Are we we're dry? Okay, that one's still, I think this one's good. Yeah. Okay, so we'll give, give that one that protection. And here's another one of those big pieces. So 
So I just um, took the ply apart on the napkin. Then um, I ripped around the flower and the leaves. That's how I got my my flower from the napkin. I love the way it turned out. Okay. Um, let's see. How are we doing here? Are we dry yet? Okay. There's that one. And... Do the big one here. Okay. So once you've done all of the embellishments and all of the pages and bound your journal and put them in there, then you can go ahead and if you want to, you can add the items that you have left. If you want to just leave it as it is, you can go ahead and do that. Now you have a foundation journal and you can choose to either leave it as it is or come back and, um, and embellish it and embellish it however you want to. Okay. Yes, that's different than what we, I usually tell you what you're going to do. Um, but this time we are letting you do, uh, do what you do what you want and then share with us what you did I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a little the last little napkin piece I'm excited because I don't really have any thing left unless I have any little tiny pieces left from tomorrow's mini challenge in the challenge now Tomorrow's mini challenge in the challenge is part of the challenge, but it is separate from the journal. So I'm just going to tell you that so you can go ahead and finish your journal without finishing the mini, um, well, finish the journal part of the challenge without finishing the mini challenge in the challenge today. Okay. Um, Yes, you have to do both mini challenge and the challenge this time. Um, you need to have your five cardstock. You need six by six pages of them for tomorrow's for tomorrow's uh, challenge. Okay, so let's see. We ended up with with glue on both of those. Okay. Okay. So the next thing is the master board. And I think what I want to do is I, I can't, I've been trying to decide whether to just cover this whole front page with this or to make a pocket. And I think I'm going to go ahead and go with the pocket idea. Okay. So this can come all the way over to here. And be a pocket we can um, it's been a couple days since I made the master board so I can use my cutter I would not use my cutter on the same day that I made it um, because the glue will not have dried yet and it won't cut nicely okay so I still have that piece Still might get to make a sign for my <laughs> for my office. So your mini challenge in the challenge. Remember, you can choose to have it be part of your um, challenge journal. Or it can go in your stash. Um, you can use it for a different project. Okay, so I end up with these two. Okay, well, I know I want this one in the front. I'll have to see if I 
what I can do with the other one. But this one is going to go in the front. Okay, just like that. Okay. We'll go ahead and use this glue. Now I need to, it's been, a, I haven't been using this as much, even though it is my favorite. Now the thing about this is it, um, you put it down and then you have to come back and put it down again. That's just, that's just the way this glue works. Um, but if you do that, it, it has been really good. Okay. So I put it down, let it stay for a little bit, and then I'll come back and I'll put, I'll push it down again. And, um, so for the price of this glue compared to other glues and the fact that I can use it for pretty much everything, it is my favorite glue to use on the covers and anywhere that I'm putting, um, fabric down, it is a lot of fabric down it is my favorite for that so like this like I, I like I did on the binding okay or on the spine okay so that is going to be my inside pocket it's a tuck so there's that and then we're going to turn it to the other side and this one wants to go either in this direction or in this direction I'm thinking this direction. Yeah, I'm like, I don't want to. I'm so sad to be cutting this up. <laughs> okay, so we're going to come over here and we'll cut it right here. I still can use that <laughs> or that it's still it still could make it into the into the craft room okay so this is gonna go like this and I have to decide if I want the same idea as what we have in the front or if I just want to cover it I kind of just want to cover it no pocket if I cover it I don't know okay if I go like this What if I did two pockets? I might do two pockets. I think I'm going to do a pocket. Okay. So there's pocket number one. Okay. goes in this direction so this could come down like that oh look at this that could go like that so it it looks like a yes that's what we're doing so it's like a solid piece but it has a pocket <laughs> yep that's what we're doing okay so what do I want at the top do I want that at the top like that or do I want my flowers in the right direction and all that at the top? I like that. Okay. Okay. So this is the part we're leaving open. Well, it, it's all closed. It's all getting closed. It's, it's, it's a closed square. We'll just close this one off. Okay. And that's going down. 
onto the the back inside cover just like that just like we did before we have to go around tell it where it's got to stay okay tell it to stay you gotta stay you're stained right here just like that and then this one I do it like that I can go ahead and give it the stronger edge the other part is going to be hard to give it the strong edge and that's up to you I liked it with the roses on the bottom because they're heavier than the the rest of this pocket but I really do want the the finished look that this this gives okay so telling it it's down come back and tell this one more time to stay come back tell that to stay that's all you have to do with this okay just come back tell it to stay I know that drives some of you out there crazy and you just really don't like this glue. But I love it. Okay. Got a cloggy. Cloggy. Come back, put this down. Okay, put that down one more time. It's fine. It is fine, fine, fine. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. So we have our back inside back is done the inside front has its tuck pocket i love it love it love it okay so that is what i am going to do and i'm going to call that my foundation journal i will check around one more time to make sure that i don't have things hanging around that should um already be in here i have a few more little pieces um, I have my five, six by six pages that I have saved for tomorrow's mini challenge in the challenge. So now you can come back in with your foundation and on the places that you started, you can go ahead and add things, um, to finish embellishing if you want. Or you can leave it just like this. The thing I did is, you guys, I added a flip-flop here to the back. Okay, so I added a flip-flop because I didn't want this page all by itself here. Okay, so what I need um, is, I think I think I needed something for a double tuck and, um, and this pocket here. I have postcards printed on cardstock that I had left in my... Um, box and this will give me some more just plain things I don't these are extra we have done all of the required elements are in the journal already this is extra this was when I had my other printer <laughs> if you're going I thought you couldn't put print on cardstock no my the printer I have now will not print on cardstock but my old printer 
did. So, so in my, and there was a period of time that I had both, um, but the ink for the other one just is so expensive that we just have it as a backup for black and white um, printing in the shack. And it's hooked up so that it can be um, hooked up to, to the solar and stuff. But it's really, we're only planning to use that for emergencies. Okay. Um, so I have this. We can go ahead and give our back pocket one of these. double tuck. So this is the envelope flap and it gives us places to put things, two places. So double tuck. Okay, back here we have this and we'll put it in here this way so that you get all the colors. Okay, we've got one card left. Do we have anything in our very front pocket? We do not. I just go ahead and stick that right there in the very front pocket. Along with butterfly note. So the butterfly note could go here like that. Okay. So that was another one of my 5 to 15 papers that I went ahead and added there. And I am, I am done. We've got this. Okay. What can we make? Let's go with That gives us these two little things. Are you just doing this to not have any waste? Yes, I am just doing this to not have any waste. Oh, you know what we needed? We needed a flap for this, remember? I wanted a flap. Went around the corners. Okay, put the doodles up. This feels heavier, so. that down like that. Pull this over. And we're going to add that right there. It's going to give us a little funny little tuck. Forgot that was the one that has something stuck in it. So... I showed you the finished journal in the beginning of the video. Um, and then I showed you how I got there. So let me know what you thought about that. Um, 
I just know a lot of people have not watched the finished journals because they they watch just so much of the video and I didn't want to have a separate video for this. I will either have a short on YouTube or a reel or both on Instagram of what I did. So the finished journal will show up there. Okay. Um, also want to remind you that the avocado dyed digital kit, the lace grunge digital kit are both available in the Etsy shop for 40% off, as well as all the Valentine's kits are on sale for 40% off um, through Wednesday. So there's that. Okay, so we gave it a flap. So now we've got a flip, a flap. And we'll go ahead and we'll give it a, a flinch card. A flinch card in the pocket here. Okay. Okay. I am going to call that done. So you'll see the really fast flip through right here. So I hope you enjoyed the flip through at the beginning, the fast flip through at the end, and then seeing how I finished using almost all of my masterboard. I did save this piece, so watch on the Dear Julie Julie DIY channel how I go ahead and frame that and use that I will probably I mean it has my favorite things on here it's got my my favorite daisies um, these ones they actually have the green centers which is my very favorite favorite um, and I just I love this and I'm thinking that it's probably gonna get the word enjoy which is my favorite word and I I may make my picture frame for it we'll see but I'm excited. It's my, the colors are match the new colors of my craft room. And I'm excited to have that. So thank you so much for being here. Don't forget about the digital sale. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. It's our mini challenge in the challenge. Bye. Bye-bye.